People enjoy deer hunting for many different reasons. Some do it simply because they like to eat venison. Yeah, and others do it because they love the great outdoors and they like to help control the deer population. But the subject of tonight's edition of Lance's Journal is a Lincoln man who hunts deer for a very different reason. Lance? Yes, he does. When Gary Jones reminisces about deer hunting trips from yesteryear, the thing he treasures the most is the quality time that he has to spend with his two sons. A while back, Gary was searching for a way to preserve those memories and he came up with what he calls antler memory pens. He turned some dusty old antlers into some precious new keepsakes for his boys. Memory is just a huge part of what makes life important. What can we do that can stimulate those memories? The answer for Gary Jones, antler memory pins. People will bring me uh, antler from a deer that they harvested. Once Gary has and the antlers, he puts them on his lathe some, uh, and turns them into treasures. To most people, this looks like a big box of antlers. To Gary Jones, it looks like a big box of memory pins. It absolutely amazes me how he can turn this into this. I've had a number of people say this, this is more like a work of art than an ink pen. They look great on camera, but they look even better in real life. I can't tell you how many times I've heard, wow, followed by, you made that? <laughs> I try not to take that personally. Gary loves to tell hunting stories. It was the buck of a lifetime. But the tales of the trophy deer on the wall always seem to pale by comparison to the stories about his favorite hunting partners. Being able to have my sons with me when I killed trophy bucks was probably more special to me than the idea that I killed a trophy buck. Gary dreamed up the memory pin concept a year ago when he was wondering what he should get his two grown sons for Christmas. When I'm gone someday, I wanted my boys to have something that they would be able to have with them every day that they could remember me. Maybe Gary's favorite deer hunting story happened when his son called him about an upcoming expedition. He said, can I go? And I said, well, Paul, it's too late to get a deer tag. And he said, uh, I don't, didn't want to hunt, I just want to come be with you. For a dad to hear words like that from his 25-year-old son, um, money can't buy that. Gary is a full-time counselor pastor at the Berean Church here in Lincoln, but over the past year he has made and sold more than 100 pins. If you'd like to learn more about getting your hands on a Jones Antler memory pin, go to the Lance's Journal page at 1011now.com and I'll show you how. And here we are on Thanksgiving Eve, and to our many 1011 viewers, I'd like to say thanks for giving me so many great story ideas throughout the year. Without your story ideas, I couldn't bring you specials like the one you can see tomorrow. It's the 14th edition of the Best of Lance's Journal, and the 30-minute presentation can be seen three times on Thanksgiving Day. It'll air at 5.30 a.m. and 4 p.m. here on 1011, and you can catch the BLJ on my TV at 1 in the afternoon. And guys, these are incredible. Like I said, they don't show up real well on camera, but in real mm -hmm. life, are you kidding? That That's is gorgeous. Cool. It's kind of funny how when you polish it down, it almost looks like you're holding fur in your hands. I know it. It's amazing. Absolutely. All Great right. memories. Sure. Thanks, Lance. We're going to update your forecast next. Stick around. Take make one. I'm guessing by the price, a while. 250. Coming up on graphics would be good.
We're looking at temperatures in the 50s and 60s right now. 64 in Lincoln, 65 degrees in Grand Island. South breeze continuing, averaging out at 8 to 18 miles an hour. Gust around 20 at times, so that'll stick around. Clear to partly cloudy skies. We'll continue to see clear to partly cloudy conditions between now and 10 o'clock. With temperatures holding fairly mild by 10, we're still looking at readings in the mid-40s to mid-50s at 10 o'clock. We've got some changes headed our way. Gusty winds cooler than uh, cooler tomorrow than today, but we had a record high of 73 in Lincoln. Real chilly on Black Friday, and then temperatures moderate a bit by the weekend. Cold start to next week. All right, thank you, Ken. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Thanks for watching 10 Eleven News at 6. Of course, join us again at 10. Star City Buzz is next on my TV. Football, football, and more football. Well, this turkey you doing edition it, of Prep Zone Weekly. Can we switch ours over to live? Yeah. I think it'd be a tough, it'd be a tough sell. Taylor Martinez! <laughs> I told Kruger we should eat.